Continuing on the topic of the Meiser Shemi, the additional time of 10% which the owner separates from his fruit and brings to Jerusalem, where he eats the fruit. The first principle of today is that if one is richly impure, they are not to eat this fruit once it has entered Jerusalem. And similarly, if the fruit became richly impure, we're going to talk later about the mitzvahs of purity and impurity, and how, how food can also um, become richly impure, then one is not to eat from this fruit. They are first to be redeemed for money, and that money is then used to purchase other, other food which one eats in Jerusalem. Another mitzvah which, which we learned today is that an oinen is not to eat mice or sheni. An oinen is someone who lost a close relative, so the next in kin of someone who passed away on that day is, not, is considered an oinen, and it actually doesn't only apply to the to the this to this tithe it also applies to all offerings that an oinen is not to eat any offerings. This is learned from an inter- interesting verse in Leviticus, where it talks about the the tragic loss of Aaron's two sons, how they suddenly they suddenly died in the in the in the tabernacle on the day of its inauguration. And then Moses questioned Aaron about why he hadn't eaten various um, um, offerings that had been brought, and Aaron said back to him that. Um, that this just happened to me today. I just lost my my, my uh, close re- close relatives today. Would God be happy if I were to eat this this food on this day? So we learn from here that all um, that all offerings are not to be eaten to be eaten by an onen by someone who their close relative passes away on that day. Thank you for watching.